Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new frame and it's called the Alpha LX5 and I think it's a rebranded Geb RC or a clone Geb RC. Now this is a 220mm wheelbase quadcopter which means it's a 5 inch quadcopter and it's meant for freestyle since it has it's it's not heavy it's around 109 grams so it's pretty good in that perspective now the aluminum they're using seems to be the good aluminum i could not strip it so when i was putting it in i just tightened as hard as i could just to see the kind of aluminum it was pretty good however there's something pretty awesome about this frame actually which uh you can get it to fit micro frames and full-blown hs 1177 type frames now if you put the uh, carbon fiber pieces on the inside then it'll fit just almost perfect a uh, micro camera such as the Cadex one cam micro which is pretty cool in that perspective so you could reduce weight and this is a lot less uh, this is lighter than the normal one that Geb RC would give you which goes into the whole side right here so this is very nice to see now the bottom plate here is 1.5 millimeters, I believe, or no, it was 1.7 millimeters. So this bottom plate here is 1.7 millimeters. The arms are four millimeters thick, and they are chamfered, chamfered down. However, they're um, they're not like very good. Like I think the, the tip they were using the chamfer it was was getting dull, at least on mine here. So it's not very nice. But the cuts are very clean, so we can do that. We can give them that in that perspective. Now, overall rigidity, it's pretty rigid. It does have a little bit of flex, so take that into consideration. So the carbon isn't a full-blown, you know, super rigid carbon here. And as you can tell, if you take a look at the arms here, uh, this is very uh, fragile, I would say. It could be very fragile. This would probably be one of the first things that breaks here, possibly ruin your motor. There's no motor protection in that perspective. Maybe they're trying to reduce weight or cost, I don't know. But take that into consideration also. And there are 4 millimeter arms here. These, uh, the side plates are five millimeters thick, except where the part where the camera goes in. But, you know, knowing the Gib RC and my previous experience, this thing should be able to take an absolute beating. Now, it does come in different colors, but I forgot what colors. I don't know why I got purple, but I got purple. Maybe it was the only thing that was in stock at the current moment of time, but that's what I picked up. Now, if you take a look back here, it also has the same kind of mounting solution as the Gib RC LX5. Plus, you know, not plus, but... When I put these screws in, these are a little bit smaller screws. Here, I did try to tighten it down and I did feel it kind of start stripping inside. So take that into consideration. But the screws in here, no, they were, they held very well. So that's very good. So, and another thing, this is a body, a bottom mount battery frame, which means the battery goes on the bottom. And it does have slits here to go to let the battery through. However, I misplaced it. Every time I put one of these frames together, I always do this by accident. So this is supposed to be on the side. I just put it the wrong way. And then your battery strap would go through there. And you're good. And they do give you the anti-slip pads here, so that's pretty nice of them. Uh, but that's about it. So over here, as you can tell, there's three screws that hold each arm into place. Now, two of them will go into this aluminum bottom plate here, which hold the arm. One of these that go into it are the ones that are going to be holding the flight controller into place. So take down into consideration. And then you have another two here, which goes straight from the arm up to the bottom plate to the top plate aluminum. So it's pretty rigid, you know, I've had experience with these, they fly pretty well, and um, it's a nice little cheap frame, I mean, it's it's it's, uh, it's okay, I guess, that's all I could really say right now until we build it, but overall, it looks nice, um, you get what you paid for, and um, it, it, it came with everything, everything aligned very well, uh, you know, GoPro mounting solutions, you're gonna have to figure out something for yourself here, or, you know, um, yeah, you're just going to have to figure something out. Or you could 3D print something for yourself. Overall, it's a nice little frame. I might build it. I don't know yet. And uh, we'll see what we're going to do with this guy. But yeah. Oh, wait. Let's check its weight. Its weight's around 109 grams, if I remember correctly. But let's just double check it just in case here. For everyone who's curious. It's 110 grams. 100, yeah, it's between 109 and 110 grams. So we could just say 110 grams. So it's 110 gram quadcopter frame. And um, yeah, seems pretty nice. Looks like it's good quality. It's decent quality. I should leave it at that. I, uh, overall quality and packaging, I'd give it around, I don't know, seven. So it's not bad. I mean, like I said, you get what you paid for. And uh, if anyone's used it, let us know down in the comment section. I'm pretty sure others will be very curious to know about it. But if it's exactly the same length as the Geb RC, then this thing is going to fly absolutely beautiful. And that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
please consider joining my Patreon. Help me support this mission. Support the channel to bringing awesome ESC testing and motor testing, noise testing, and flight controller testing. Currently, I'm waiting for a couple more. We're going to have this video coming up soon. It's the F40, F30 amp uh, T-motor Beale Heli 32 ESC. We're going to be noise testing this guy very soon on the channel. And yeah, that'll be awesome. And you can also use the fiddle links down below. I'll leave a link to this down below if you want to go ahead and check out some of its specs. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.